see what's good tech doc. Many of you may not know this, but the HD 6950 being very similar to the 6970 and a lot of the specs actually can be flashed with a BIOS software upgrade to have the same amount of shaders, that's the shader processors, as the 6970. So potentially, you could increase for free at no additional cost your HD 6950. Now, this is something that you have to try out at your own risk. I've done it here with my uh, Sapphire HD 6950, which I reviewed not too long ago. And uh, first things first, I had to set the little switch that comes on the card to position number one. After you do that, then I went to the Tech Power Up website, and there's actually two websites. I put the link at the bottom here of the video so you guys can go to it. And I downloaded the 6970 BIOS, okay, so there's a BIOS file that you have to get, and also the tools. Basically, there's a wind flash uh, utility that allows you to flash the software, the BIOS information that's on the 6950 and basically upgrade it to the 6970. And I followed the instructions. Also on uh, guru3d.com, uh, they have those instructions. And from there, I downloaded the kit, went through it, and eventually I managed to successfully um, flash the BIOS and upgrade the 6950 to have the same shaders as the um, 6970. So definitely it worked for me. However, the instructions are not 100% um, you know, reliable, okay? So you have to try different things. For example, it says in the instructions to just go in, select the BIOS from the wind flash utility and click on program. That might work for some, it might not work for others. For others, you might actually have to do it from a command line and actually execute the BIOS upgrade from there instead. The bottom line is whether you do it command line or through the utility following those instructions, you should get a message at the end that states that the BIOS has been upgraded and it's verified, okay? So as long as you get that verification message that it did upgrade and flash that BIOS, then it will ask you to reboot your machine, you'll reboot your machine and check to see if it upgraded it. So for example, before I did the upgrade, these are the stats that I had in GPU-Z. You can see there the shaders at 1440 unified. Those are the stats without it being flashed to the 6970 BIOS. And here is the 3 Mark Vantage score that I got using these settings, okay? Now after I did the um, BIOS upgrade for the GPU, because essentially the GPU is the same, it's just that there are a cluster of shaders that are disabled, and this flash upgrade basically enables those additional shaders. And now the stats, of course, of this card have been successfully upgraded. You can see even the GPU clock and the memory clock, everything is now higher. I successfully uh, upgraded it using those instructions, and I also ran 3D Mark Vantage, and you can see here the GPU score skyrockets up higher, definitely getting higher frames per second, definitely notice the difference. So again, be warned, it's uh, something that you can do, but it takes a little bit of work. I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.